Okay, so we're taking a look at uh, Vauxhall Corsa board. The reason I explain that people shouldn't open them is because of the back here. As you can see, it's been cracked. It's not too bad, but uh, you have to be careful when opening them up. Obviously, there's signs of water damage. Zoom that in. Problematic areas. There's water damage there as well. Water damage. More water damage. And, uh, this board's come in with a uh, no crank, which is the fault. Not cranking at all. Uh, because of the water damage here, this uh, MOSFET's probably blown as well. So we'll test that. Other than that, it's not too bad. I'll see you get water damage on the opposite side of the board as well, but I've cleaned around that. It doesn't look uh, too bad. Let us do for alls for the heat sinking. Got a pad damage here. Uh, that could be problematic. So I'll check that. Also some signs of water here as well. It's not looking too bad there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this side first I think. Um, replace all the damaged components all want to be replaced I want to try and put them back on it's a no-no same as this as well I'll change that out for a new one uh, probably replace all of these as well they're not all bad that one's uh, uh, da -da -da. let me get some here you can see it so that one there is bad, this one, the second one, that one's bad, these two look kind of okay but they might be bad, that one's a bad one, uh, and this end one is a bad one but I'll, I'll change all of them out, they ought to be replaced with new ones, um, that's bad but I'm pretty sure there'll still be some pad there but I'll take that off later and check that. And obviously that one's a bad one, so that's going to have to come off and get replaced with a new one. Uh, that's going to be want to be replaced as well. That usually handles the cranking. That and other areas of the board. But uh, normally on a no crank, that's one of the issues all this here. With that being as bad as it is, that's why I suspect this might be blown as well. Uh, very common. I'll uh, replace all them out and save you watching the bar and work. Right, so I've replaced, um, zoom in. So I've replaced all of these, these ones here. They've all been replaced, 10Ks. These have all been replaced. Replaced this for 473 here as well. There was a little small capacitor here, but as you can see the pad's gone. Rust, rust's got underneath it but uh, I'll try and do a link for that later I'll link that over um, this side we have obviously I've removed these components here so we've got uh, this one removed and these two removed here as well that one's gone the 220 I've taken all of these off taken that main uh, I believe it's a voltage regulator, but I could be wrong. Um, taking this off here, that a, was a capacitor there, and obviously all the resistors. So I'm just going to clean up all these pads and uh, start popping them back on with the new components. Okay, so uh, obviously I replaced these. Let me just get my uh, tweezers. So I've replaced these. This area here as well, 
these have been replaced that's been replaced pad was a little bad underneath that um, it's got contact now though um, replaced these and this and also replaced all the resistors here as well uh, and this one uh, tested this this component here that was okay I hadn't blown that so now we'll, uh, we'll chuck it on the test rig and uh, see if we've got uh, comms with it so I plugged it in and uh, we've got the green light which means uh, we're talking to it so uh, what I should do now is test it on the vehicle